a decade ago, I had a skin biopsy. Didn't look suspicious to me as a doctor. And two days later, on a Friday night, I got a phone call and the dermatologist said, I hate to make these kind of calls on a Friday night. And so getting this call two days later and being told that I may have melanoma, it, it was a surprising phone call. The first biopsy was indeterminate. They couldn't tell whether it was or wasn't, but it looked suspicious. And the second biopsy was initially read as invasive melanoma. And when you have a new biopsy or a new diagnosis of an invasive cancer, you usually get a second opinion. So it was sent to a second pathologist. And that diagnosis was, they thought it was benign, nothing serious. And so we got a third opinion, and the third opinion was yet a third diagnosis. So I had diagnoses ranging from normal to an abnormal but not cancerous diagnosis to invasive melanoma. In addition to being a practicing physician, I do research. I'm a clinical epidemiologist and I decided I wanted to study this. Given my own experience, I wanted to see how we could improve things. So we decided to turn the microscope back on ourselves to see how we're doing and now, hopefully, we can figure out how to improve it. We started with 240 skin biopsy cases. They ranged from normal to mildly atypical to invasive melanoma. Each of the skin biopsy cases was interpreted by our panel of experts independently, and then they got together to reach a consensus. That's our gold standard diagnosis for each case. Then we divided the cases up into smaller sets, and we shipped them out to pathologists across the country. 187 pathologists were kind enough to help us, and these are pathologists that spent up to 20 hours volunteering and helping us. My findings were that the accuracy is low for diagnoses in the middle classes, and let me explain that because a skin biopsy can be read as normal, or slightly atypical to melanoma in situ to invasive melanoma. And it's these diagnoses in the middle that there was very little agreement. Less than 50% agreement with the experts. This level of low accuracy, it is not the pathologist's fault. These are highly trained, skilled pathologists, but we do not have the ability to adequately classify cases in these middle diagnoses. There is a level of uncertainty in medicine that is often forgotten. And my study highlights that we need to be reminded that there is inherent uncertainty in the practice of medicine. Mm -hmm.